hey guys welcome back to my channel guys if you're not subscribed please subscribe right now i'm bringing this content to you guys um, as usual i only make videos of stocks that i have in my portfolio or stocks that i'm trying to sell or to invest in guys i want to talk about a few things but first before we get into it guys as usual i tell you um, it is your responsibility when you're investing to make sure you're aware of what's going on. Make sure you're educated on the subject before you put your money in. Um, if you're not sure, speak to a professional uh, licensed financial advisor or broker to best instruct you how to invest your money. This channel is not responsible for any loss. Now, I have heard some negativity from a few people, and I just want to put it out there to let you guys know before you invest to make sure you're aware that it's hard money that you earn. You don't want to lose it and get stressed over making it back. Now, let's go back at it, guys. We're talking about Snowflake. Um, it's a cloud-based um, platform company. Um, they're highly in the data cloud industry. They are one of the best up-and-coming company. Um, there is in the last, uh, I would say, last decade. Now, we know about Fastly that, that has been dropping so fast, uh, surprisingly. Uh, we know about Datadog, we know about uh, Twilio. There's so many companies out there um, that's in um, cloud, that's in security, that's in anything tech software-wise, that's that's actually booming right now, guys. But um, in the last, in the last, I would say two months, we can see with Snowflake has been going crazy, guys, since September. Um, we know um, it went up to as high as 300 and 18 to 319 dollars per share before tanking down to as low guys as two, at 213 dollars per share now guys this is where i went in for my big sweep obviously i didn't want to jump in on the big day so i waited patiently for a week and i got in at 200 around 14 dollars and then i made my move all the way up to around 270 exit again and fortunately enough guys the stock came right back down in the in, in the area where you want to invest again so i definitely got up my shares my average is still low now it's trading right now at 269 as high as one point in the morning it goes up to 273 dollars per share but i'm not really watching that guys for this stock i'm thinking i'm doing a swing i'm looking six months to see um actually i'm looking through the six months to see how it performs um, if it starts to slip, then definitely I have a backup plan that I have in place. But I'm hoping I could go on like six months um, in with the stock to see where it takes me or how far it takes me. Um, I've made some money so far. Uh, um, so right now it's just time to build that patience to see how much more I can make if I could hit 100% profit or if I could hit 200% profit right, or even more than that. So I would love to keep it for two, three years to see how far it could take me um, to see as much as I could earn. But my short term plan right now, which is kind of a mid range plan, is three to six months to see how it performs, if it could on a sustain it price, if it, could, if it could continue growing. And then from that point, I'll make my decision for you guys that want to add a software company to your portfolio you can do some research on the company and um, they do have a website that you can uh, like take a look into snowflake and then you can see um, it's a data cloud company um, that gives you access to your data it's more for commercial and like customers basically um, that they could access their data they can manipulate what's going on um, i believe the website does have an option if you want to uh, like listen into one of their seminars um, i did sign up uh, like a few weeks back i believe there is a cinema um that's coming up uh i think november uh, 15 or 16 i forget the exact date no as you know guys my background is tech so i'm i'm kind of biased when it comes to technology companies but um from my experience so far i've never been i've never got let down by tech stock you just got to know how much you want to make where you want to exit um again guys if you see a dip it doesn't mean the end of the day is just if it's in your plan your exit if it's not in your plan you stay the course and then you see where it could take you i've done the same thing with datadog i've done the same thing with twilio with so many software companies that still standing obviously microsoft i'm not letting those guys go i have those guys um since day one microsoft intel amd and those guys are my winners so far um twilio is my long time winner. you have those guys in the low 20s so um, 
but in terms of uh, like snowflake i'm just on the boat in the last two months um yeah it's more like a month and a half but i'm going to see how it 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 runs its course i'm i have plans for that um funds so um yeah and that's basically what i want to tell you guys that if you if, if you could take a look at the stock um you can see it has been going crazy with trading let's just go here in the in the last um i would say this from september if we go back here actually i want to go back september for quickly so man and this day was unheard of um it went on a huge spike opened at 245 and boom hit 319 um, per share but you can see taylor's back down i've made a few small trades actually in this segment right here so um there's nothing to worry about with you guys it's basically your plan um, because in this segment i've made a few trade back and forth from 215 swing to 240 from 220 swing to 250 but i've made a few profits and now i decided you know what let me go in and wait long term now as you can see the pattern it it tends to touch 270 278 but always come back down in the 220 range uh, but that's why I, I watch it for a few weeks to see where it's gonna land but um i i do have um i do have a stop loss at a price that i think is okay for me to if it dips but at the same time i'm hoping for three to six months if i could hold on to it to see how much it could make guys there are a lot of other software companies on the market you just gotta search and do your research that's that's relatively cheaper but I think with the um, the upside of Snowflake to come, especially now in this pandemic that we see um, a more need for cloud computing, uh, for uh, a more need to access in data online, um, I think most company um, that's doing any kind of cloud platform uh, will see a spike in its value, mostly because everyone, or not everyone, but at least you can see 50% of the business right now, they're accessing their data from a virtual location so definitely they need security they need access um, they need to be able to manipulate or to check um, the data at a high speed to make sure everything is comparing so i think from experience and even from a general uh perspective like if you look at zoom for example a company that moved for so low that goes up is because everything is going to be virtual and trust me the coronavirus is going to scare a lot of people for at least two years so it's not like it's going to just go away um it's gonna still have some business kind of tailored their their traveling their meetings their uh, their physical distancing routine for a while because no one want to be sucked into this for a long time that creates more problem so i think any company that provide any kind of virtual um, assistance, whether it's in software, whether it's in security, whether it's in anything in, in general, it's going to see a boom in the stock price. So um, just be cautious, guys. Trade with what you have. Um, don't overcomplicate it. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to go big. You can go small and gradually make your way up. Uh, like, don't listen to everyone that you got to dump everything. Just trade with what you have and what your limitation allows you to and then if you trade that way then definitely slowly you can increment your volume if you make money and you can go from there now guys if you like what i just said to you please subscribe to the channel a lot of people may watch the video want to subscribe but it's not costing you anything i don't see what's the uh, the point for some people not to subscribe in it's only going to notify you if if there's a new video maybe if you're trading in the market like right now it could be the next tip that makes a big difference but at the same time, guys, I tell you, I don't tell you what stock to buy. I just tell you the information. You have to do your own research to see if it fits your portfolio. And if it does, it's a no-brainer. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please leave a comment. And if you guys do have a software company out there that I'm not aware of, please send it my way. I'll do my own research. If it's something I want to add to my portfolio, then definitely I will add it and I'll create a video. All right? Peace out.